October 11th, what is the daily message for October 11th? What's going on in Pisces energy for October 11th? What's going on in Pisces energy October 11th? All right, you guys. Hey, my beautiful Pisces. Hit that thumbs button up for me, you guys. Hit that thumbs button up for me, you guys. Leave your comments. Tell me how your day goes. Okay. October 11th, 2020. What is the message here? Can we go into all my Pisces energy here? Show me what's going on in Pisces energy and what's coming towards them. Okay. And the advice for the day. Okay. Pisces. Can you give me two cards, Spirit? Hmm. One more card, Spirit. They're trying to get to the right card. This is crazy, Pisces. Something's not right. But we'll talk about it. One more card, please. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's why. Over our energy is the Queen of Cups in reverse. What's going on today, Pisces? Pisces, I'm feeling like you're losing some type of inspiration here. October 11th, um, I feel like you're losing your inspiration for something. You're losing your inspiration. Um, something is making you, there could be somebody here. Something is making you feel really closed off emotionally. We have the star with the queen of cups here. This feels to me that you are in your feelings, you're in your emotions today. Your overall energy that you're in your feelings, you're in your emotions today. I feel like you're take, you're letting someone take your inspiration away from you in some way. Um, and you're trying to stay inspired. You know, you're trying to stay inspired, but I feel like your light may be a little dim in some way. Someone may have dimmed your light in some freaking way. And so you're closing your emotions off and your feelings to this situation on October 11, 2020. You're coming up as a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So I do feel like, yeah, you're no longer wanting to plant seeds or you're just like, you know what? I'm bored. I'm uninterested. I don't really want to invest. Um, I don't see... You're losing inspiration. That's all I can say. You're you're not being you don't feel inspired in some way. And you don't want to plant seeds here. Why do I feel like you're letting something get to you or somebody get to you? It could have to do with someone putting in their two cents into a situation. Sorry, you guys. So, yeah, um, could have to do with background noise or someone, what someone said. But that Knight of Pentacles, this could very much have a lot to do with your feelings and your emotions. In regard, It's your feelings and your emotions here. For some of you guys, this is something that has to do with your financial or your career. Um, for some of you guys, this could literally be, um, this could be a relationship. Um, or this could just be something that you were investing your time in. And even just the way that I feel in my emotions, how I'm feeling, it feels like um, you're in your feelings and you're in your emotions about this. Um, but I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like there could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in this energy. There could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in your energy here. I feel like there's somebody here investing in a situation with you, right? Or there's somebody here that's way invested in your situation. And you're like, why are you so invested in me? I'm hearing that energy like, why are you so invested in me? Why are you so invested in what the fuck I'm doing? Like, you're just really feeling like this person doesn't have your best interests and you're not really liking what this person is bringing to the table or what they may have to say or maybe their input in the situation. Um, but Pisces, I'm here to tell you that you may need to get out of your emotions and you may need to get out of your feelings here. I hate to say this shit because uh, even I'm just like, I want to take whoever this person is, take their fucking head off. Right. But the truth is, is that there is something to what they're saying that is right. 
when you just have to be here and show up and accept it. So it might not be the best thing that you want to hear. It might not be what you want to even engage in right now. You this is something here that's making you um, you're in your feelings and your emotion is making you want to pull away and it's making you not want to do shit. Like okay, well I won't do anything at all. How about that? So it, you know someone here is putting in their two cents or putting in their opinion, but I feel like it's a very valuable thing that they're giving you. So at this point you just really know how you have to know how to take it and you can't let this put a damper on your day or your emotions or your feelings because I don't see any ill type of will coming from this person um, or this Capricorn Virgo or Taurus. I don't feel like someone's doing something ill will to hurt you in any way. I just really feel like someone here is either keeping it real or they, you may feel like they're just too invested and they may be. They may be a little too invested in the situation. What the heck is this? Oh, goodness. Anyways, they may be a little too invested in this situation. Um, they may feel like they know what is best, but your job is to not let this affect you emotionally in any way possible and to not let this make you give up and say, hey, well, I don't I, I just won't do it at all. How about I just don't invest in this at all? No, you keep going. You don't let outside noise distract you and, and, and hurt you in any way, because I feel like something here kind of like it really brought your spirits down, you know. Um, someone, some somebody did showed up in this situation. It feels like a quarant, and I feel like it really kind of like put a damper on your parade, or it really made you feel emotionally. And it, I don't know, the Queen of Pentacles feels like a mother energy. Um, sorry about that, Pisces. So Pisces, I don't even know where I stopped, but. Pisces, it looks like you have become, on this day, it looks like you have become bored of something. Maybe you're bored of someone's perception, someone's input, but you have become bored or kind of like impatient or distracted in some way by somebody. And I, and I have to say this, do I feel like... Um, I f I'm going to be honest. I love you guys and I hate to be the one to say this, but I feel like you might be taking this in the wrong way. You might be taking something out of context. You may be taking it the wrong way. Um, you're letting someone distract you in some way. Okay. You're letting someone distract you in some way. You're letting someone uh, uh, emotionally upset you in some way. And um, there is some, it has a lot to do with someone's taking, um, they're 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 kind of put it they're putting a damper here on something here that you were hoping for or this could have been something that there's something here that you were hoping for or maybe an outcome or somebody's perception or outlook on the situation and I feel like this has really put a damper here on that for you emotionally you can't let so basically you're letting someone take a lot of energy out of you and you can't let that happen. Um, I will say this person knows they this person whoever's coming towards you is a quarant. It could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy, Sun Moon Rising Venus sign. I do feel like this person is not someone who is trying to hurt you. It's like their perception might have like um, really uh, rubbed you the wrong way, Pisces. Their perception of you or their perception of a situation has rubbed rubbed you the wrong way. Um, but do not let this person steer you off uh, off course. OK, do not let this person get the best of your emotions or put a damper here on your emotions. OK, I really feel like you're taking this the wrong way. OK, for some of you guys, because this is two quarants, for some of you guys, you are really in your emotions and your feelings in regards to something that you're very um, that you've been very inspired about. And I'm here to let you know that. You still want to invest in this situation. You have, um, I feel like you've put in a lot into this situation. So I feel like at this point, you have to kind of ignore the background noise. You kind of have to stay the course of plan. You have to keep, um, there's something here. You're just not planning. You're not, it's like you don't want to plan anymore. You don't want to move towards it. But Pisces, what you need to understand, too, is that 
don't let this one thing, the way you're looking at it, make you feel like giving up or making you feel like you no longer want to plant or plant seeds here. Because what I'm seeing is that the queen of pentacles here is what's coming towards you. So what's coming towards you is growth and abundance and stability. You know what I'm saying? Don't get in your emotions and your feelings here about a situation. Don't get too caught up in your emotions and your feelings because I feel like there's something that you really, really was inspired to do or you really, really put your, your heart and your emotions into something and you may be looking at the situation like you don't want to continue to move. You're hesitant. You've gone bored. You've gone dissatisfied. You've gone disinterested in it. But I feel like what's coming towards you, what what is really coming towards you here today is growth, stability, abundance. Maybe someone is giving you their input because they want to see you more successful. They want to see you more stable. So sometimes you got to look at it from a different perspective here. Okay. What is the, um, what is the advice here that I need to give to Pisces? Because there is stability here for you. I feel like even if you don't agree to something or you don't want to hear it, or you're not interested, act like you're fucking interested, Pisces. Just act like you're interested. And if you're really smart, you'll pick up on what they're saying and you'll try to do it. Just try. Just try to be interested. Try to do this because I feel like it's going to give you stability. I feel like it's a good investment, Pisces. Like, I feel like what they're saying, what someone may be giving to you or investing in you in some way, I feel like it's a good investment, Pisces. I wouldn't lie to you if I didn't thought so. I, I mean, I hate to even admit it. Come on. I hate to admit that. Maybe Pisces, maybe this person is right on this one. <laughs> maybe they're right on this one, Pisces. So um, give me one card, Spirit. Give me one card, Spirit. What advice should I give to Pisces uh, in regards to October 11th? In regards to what they're facing? Look at the hierophant showing up here. Okay, what advice should I give to Pisces? Let's see at the bottom, you have the star. See, you really don't don't let something. You have the star in the devil. Don't let something. Don't let something affect you so much like that. Okay, be willing to receive information and process information and try new things. One card. What advice? Yes, we have the emperor here. We have the emperor here, Pisces. Okay. Pisces, this is about control, okay? This is about, like, control issues, um, letting go of control, um, being able to let go of control, being able to, um, it's like being able to let someone, to be honest, it's, for me, it's, with this whole situation, it's being, you're getting a lot of um, major arcanas. It, th these are big, big lessons in these days, like these days that's coming ahead. Um, so this is being able to hear other other people, you know, give other people, um, I don't want to say give other people a chance to be on the throne, but at least let them help you reign. Let these people help you reign or let this person help you reign, okay? Be able to let go some of some type of control to let someone help you reign. Reign is like R-E-I-G-N, right? So yeah, um, the emperor is the king of all kings, the queen of all queens. So yes, you need to be the queen of all queens in this situation, but you also have to listen to the other. So say if you're coming up as the emperor or the empress, there are people, there are people above you and there are people below you. Um, so I feel like maybe the hierophant would be more than the emperor. I'm not sure you guys, I think that's right. I think the hierophant would be more than the emperor and the high priestess. So there are, there are categories, there are, there are levels to this shit. So this is about like, um, this is really, really about like letting go of control and being able to be that emperor or that empress to let people put in their input to help you to be a better person or to be the king of all kings and the queen of all queens, okay? So I feel like this is really about you. You need to let go of some type of control here. You maybe need to not try to control everything here um, because I feel like you are in this position right here because of 
a certain situation or a certain person. The reason why you're in this position has to do with the little people uh, below you and even the people above you, okay? So this is about really not trying to control every little thing, not trying to control the way people look at you, see you, the way they come to you. Allow people to be themselves so that they can help you grow in abundance here. And don't turn away, don't grow bored with them, don't grow uh, like some type of apathy here where you're just not even interested. Don't show that type of, um, I feel like you shouldn't show that. You should be, you should rise above this situation. I'm hearing Maya Angelou's song, uh, not song, a poem, Still Like Dust I Rise. You may, I don't know. You may throw dirt on my name. You may do this. You may do that. But still, like dust, I rise. I mean, something like that, you guys. You might need to look at that poem um, because I feel like some of you guys might need to read that poem today. Not everybody is trying to... Um, it just feels like you, you could be in your emotions and your feelings. You could be taking something the wrong way. Um, but I feel like you have to turn something, turn something negative or turn something that you feel that is negative or not for your highest good. Turn it into a positive and make it for your highest good, like the emperor here, okay? Yeah. I just heard something. I just heard, don't let one little piggy mess it up for everyone else or mess it up for you or don't let one little devil or one little person. Um, but some, from some of you guys, I really don't feel like someone was trying to um, upset you. I don't feel like they were trying to come for you. I don't feel like they, they had bad intentions here or their intentions are bad. I feel like this is somebody who's really trying to, um, they're either coming up like a mother, maybe they're a little older than you. And maybe that's why they're, they're maybe communicating like this, but, um, or they may be trying to like cuddle you or trying to like show you or invest in you or their perception to guide you into something, or they're trying to invest in you in some way. I feel like you need to be open to, um, these ideas or, you know, whatever it is that someone's trying to offer or give you. And I feel like you need to turn it to your highest good. Um, to the for the best interest of yourself because I do feel like this is going to help you to be more stable. I feel like this is going to help you to be more prosperous. Okay, all right. <laughs>